Okay. I got a late start this morning, so let's try to catch up. First part of the video is going to be just of the garden, how things are going out here. Uh, second part is going to be of a very interesting website. And um, I'm going to be transparent. I may be receiving a packet of seeds from these folks and also a, uh, a, a link, a code where you can uh, buy seeds yourself and get a small discount. Um, but I did not know these people. I contacted them last week about using part of their website on um, th this channel and they said fine and um, I will be showing it to you. It's for people who uh, like to grow pumpkins in the backyard or want to but don't want to grow the regular orange jack-o'-lantern. Of course they have those but they have a lot of interesting pumpkins that you've never seen before. Now this is probably a bad way to introduce myself to them because I have powdery mildew all over the garden. But as I said last week, and you may remember, well, nobody watched that video, so maybe you don't remember. At the end of the season, I don't bother treating anything. Um, unless it's an infestation of bugs that are going to destroy the, the produce. Uh, powdery mildew is inevitable with pumpkins. So I just <clears throat> kind of shrug my shoulders, and pumpkins do have a, a limited life expectancy anyway, pumpkin vine. And we're almost at the end of that now. So there's really nothing you can or should do about it. Um, these pumpkins will have a chance to ripen before the vines are totally taken over by the powdery mildew. Uh, most of them are already ripening somewhat, like this one. And, uh, you know, there's one over there that's totally green, but if it, 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 like I said a few weeks ago, if it has a little bit of orange on it, usually it's okay to harvest it. So I'm not concerned about anything. Yeah, here's another totally green one. We have about 10 or 11 of them out here in the garden that are still totally green. But we have enough time left with the vines and everything where we can leave them growing, not panic about any illnesses. This one has an orangey cast to it, even though it looks totally green. And uh, even the Maxima pumpkin that's mixed in here, sorry about the dogs. <laughs> Even the Maxima pumpkin that is mixed in here is uh, now starting to get powdery mildew, which is fine because if you've been following me all season, oh my god, that has been a nightmare with that vine climbing all over the place and taking over the world. Um, I'm not concerned about the pumpkins at all because they start to ripen before they, they uh, reach their full size. So, and we've got enough of them in the garage. <laughs> Lord knows. <clears throat> okay, where is a Maxima? Here it is. We got one growing in midair, growing slowly, because when pumpkins grow in midair like this, they tend to grow more slowly. Here you go. Uh, that one is reaching its its uh, mature color. My goodness, these dogs are just so woofy today. Um, there's my, my tomatoes, they look terrible, but they're still producing. Yeah, this time of year I don't get too excited about anything. Usually just natural disasters are the things I worry about this time of year. Um, over here we have patio baby eggplant and we are going to get an eggplant. I know you doubted me, you one person out there, but yeah, we're going to get one. At least one. And like I said that I chose the wrong summer for that and the wrong situation for that uh, cucumber I had. And I pulled out the potato uh, plants yesterday and I don't think I have any potatoes except way at the bottom, and this is a very deep container. So, I, th 
failed with potatoes again. I'm not a potato person. You will not ever see somebody's backyard potato farm on YouTube. And this is the the sunflower that got knocked down in one of the storms and I had to cut it down. It sent up a whole bunch of little flowers. So it's doing the survival thing. That's what they look like. They're just plain old sunflowers. This one is almost gone. Kind of pretty autumnal colored ones. And over here, <clears throat> this is one I don't know if I'm going to grow again. This is the Russian pumpkin, bushy orange. This one is much, much larger than that one I pulled the other week that I had to throw out because it had a worm in it. Um, this one's got to be almost 10 pounds. <coughs> And they can't get that big. But I'm not going to grow them again. They're not that interesting. They do have a nice short vine, though. So if you don't have a lot of room, their vine is actually shorter than that of, um, what is that? Can <laughs> candy corn. Candy corn is starting to climb all over the place, so I would not recommend it for a container. But maybe bushy orange would be good for a container. Here's another bushy orange. We've got three, three big ones, two barking dogs, and a one that probably just didn't get pollinated correctly. It's very small. And I'll show you. Yeah, candy corn is taking over this whole bed here. And we're still getting more candy corns. With these little pumpkins, you can get up to 20 from one vine. So I'll show you in the garage our harvest so far. Okay, <clears throat> we have, let's see, excuse the mess in this corner. This is uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have six jack-o'-lantern types in here. I'm not sure who's who. Um, as you know, I was growing two different kinds, um, jack-o'-lantern, which is my favorite, and the other one I think was a field pumpkin. Um, here's one that has been ripened mostly in the garage. So you see that can happen. It's been here about a week. And there's another one. This is my giant so far, but I think there's one bigger than this out in the garden. And I think this is a jack-o'-lantern. These are the little ones. This is uh, candy corn. We've had about nine of these thus far, and the uh, the vine is undergoing a second spring, so we got we got some more coming up. And over there, that's one of the maximas. I gave one of those away, and there's about three or four more out in the garden. So that's the garden for this week, and stay tuned for uh, the website. I'll be back in a few minutes.